everyone and welcome back to my channel today and welcome to a brand new type of video that I'm going to be doing when new singles are released. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction and then a review for the new track by of Mice and Men titled Warzone off their upcoming new album, their first without one of my favourite vocalists of all time, Austin Carlyle. So, um, the band have released two songs since Austin has left the band in Unbreakable and Back To You. Both songs I thought were extremely average and showed just what made Austin Carlyle so special. So, going into this song, I don't expect all that much. If this song's bad, I have a real big feeling that this next record is going to be not very good at all. It comes out in January of next year, so... Uh, it's going to be interesting to listen to that record and then review it for you guys. I really want it to be good because I love this band a lot, but I don't know if I can see it happening. So let's get listening to this track. I'll chop my headphones in and uh, you guys can see me react to this track for the very first time. So uh, three, two, one, let's do it. Uh, didn't click. Let's do it. Okay. Oh man, a band still really doing the like 2004 oh, intro, like, come on fucking hell. I just pulled the headphones out of my head. This is a great first reaction. It just doesn't have the same scream as Austin. I like that it's more, you know, paced up than the last two tracks. They're actually trying to bring back a bit of the heavy, which is good. Aaron really needs to stop trying to look like a fucking metal dude from the 80s. It's not a good look for him. Definitely sounds a bit dirtier than uh, their last record did. The last record was a little bit clean. Guitar wise. Uh, so that's him trying to be Austin. He's not Austin. Yeah, it's definitely got a bit more of the flat production, which is a good thing. On this, this is actually pretty decent. This, this section is really cool. Ooh, bit of a silver chair melody there. I like it. Is that it? No. A minute left. Okay. We're just gonna go back to the heavy, aren't we? Back to the standard riff cam. See, they could have built that to something else, and they just didn't do it. Ugh. Not a fan of that. So he should just be there. He should be screaming like that the whole time. Oh, that is not good. Oh. All right. So, what to say about that track? What I will say is, I think it is better than both Unbreakable and Back to You. I think that clean section is exactly what that track needed right in the middle there. But again, I feel like I'm repeating myself constantly with these new of Master Men songs. He's trying to be Austin way too much. He's not embracing his own voice as a screaming vocalist. Um, that final scream at the end was just awful. It just sounded so try hard. Um, 
Yeah, overall, you know, it's a fine song. It's not particularly bad in any way. I like that the production is a bit more towards the flood than it is towards uh, Cold World. Uh, it's a bit grittier than even Unbreakable and Back to You were, because obviously they were recorded separately to the rest of this record. Um, but other than that, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. It doesn't really leave that much of an imprint on me, but... Uh, let me know, what do you guys think about this track, and also what do you think about these new reaction videos? I think if I do it like this a bit more, then I'm going to probably be able to get a few more single reviews out to you guys than I usually do. So, anyway, as I said, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys thought about this track. Did you like the track? Did you not like the track? Let me know down below. We hit up the conversation about music, so let's do that. But, if you're just going to fill up the comment section with hate and insults, just know I'm going to read your comments and laugh at how pathetic your life is. Anyway, thanks for watching my video today guys. Please hit subscribe down below and I'll see you next time. Fresh Currents.